I sat within my cage, my heart pounding with loneliness. The darkness seemed to swallow me up, and the metal cage just, well, it was cold and lonely. But then I was about to lay down, maybe hope for some breakfast. Suddenly, the cage was opened, and I looked around. I shot out with a blur of flames that flashed the air. And there in front of me stood the most pitiful fighter I've ever seen. I couldn't even help but snort at this. I started towards him, running as fast as I possibly can. But suddenly he did the one thing that I never expected, and, well, I was kind of expecting a lot of things. He dropped his weapon. What was he doing? I stared at him in confusion, but then he dropped his shield as well. I blinked. What was this kid trying to prove? Then he held out his hand. I just at this moment wondered if this kid was asking for me to eat it. But for some reason there was a pull towards it, as though, well, the same way a dragon asked to be friends. I had never expected this from a human, and I walked slowly towards him, hesitant of what to do. I could feel the fear pulsing from the other humans as they wondered what was going to happen. He, he looked at them and mumbled some weird creature language that these people did. And then the weirdest thing happened. There was a sudden bang against the metal walls that really scared me. I jumped at him, my flames bursting out again. I couldn't help it. Anger was surging through me. The sound was just horrible and irritating. I jumped at him again, but then there was a sound like no other, the definite sound of a night fury. I felt sick. Everybody knew what night furies would do. I had him pinned beneath my grasp as the dragon leaped into me. I was confused. What was he doing? We were on the same team. Why was he attacking me while well, he should be helping me? And then, with a loud bang, the dragon hurled into me, his night fury-like eyes glowing with anger. I was confused. What was he doing? We should be trying to eat this human together, not fighting each other. The Night Fury hurtled into me, clawing at me with sharp, razor-sharp claws. I had to admit, it hurt. Especially when he plasma-blasted me with the purple, sticky, burning liquid. I lay there, confused. But then all of a sudden the humans started running at the Night Fury. Make up their mind! Either this dragon was on their team or our team! I sighed and watched as they all jumped at it. I felt sick. What were they doing? Then, then another human jumped at me, pinning me, and then began forcing me back towards my cage. I watched the Night Fury automatically leap on one of the humans. He opened his mouth. I could see the plasma purple swallowing in his mouth. But for some reason, there was a yell from one of the creatures, the creature I had been about to destroy. And then the Night Fury looked a little confused, but still had his mouth open. Then the yell came louder, and the Night Fury automatically shut his mouth and looked at the human with such, such guilt. I didn't understand. He'd had a perfect blow. He could have taken out the human that was their chief, their leader. It would have been a perfect strike in the war. We, we could have won. We could have had all the fluffy clouds and everything else we wanted. And maybe, maybe they could have freed me then. I wouldn't have to be trapped in a cold metal prison anymore. But instead, this dragon had made his choice. He had made it clear what side he was on. But still, the human punched him with a metal sword. I watched him fuse as I jumped on him, pinning his muzzle to the ground with such force that it caused the ground to shake. I, I heard the human whimpering. And, I, and then I had a sudden realization. Maybe maybe this dragon wasn't on the side of humans, but instead on the side of this, this one child. That didn't make sense to me either. Why would... It didn't make sense at all. It just, it just didn't. But then I looked at the Night Fury's tail and I noticed something as the humans began dragging me back towards my cage. The Night Fury, its tail, it was missing. Instead, they were replacing it was just a brown bag-like thing. So, this Night Fury had been shot down by these humans. But why would it work with them now? It, it, I didn't understand. I was led back to my cage and I could hear the door slam on me. I also had cheer, I heard cheers of victory. And I was just deeply confused. Why were these humans attacking a dragon that had just saved their own? They didn't make sense to me, and I would never trust them. Any of them, for that matter. But maybe, maybe they could stop the Red Death if we led them to them. I didn't understand why we were keeping them away. The Red Death, they ate. I had watched it eat so many of my family, my friends. But yet, we decided as dragons that we were going to keep the humans away. Keep stealing your food instead to keep the creatures satisfied. 
while most of us went starving. I remember the night when my ancestors had died trying to fight for against these humans. So many of our ancestors had died trying to fight these humans. But yet, why did I feel the instinct that I should be doing what the Night Fairy was doing? Was it because he was the last of his kind? Was it because, because maybe he was right? Maybe we shouldn't be doing this, siding against the humans. Maybe we could be with them. I thought about this for a long time as I sat in the darkness. But then I heard a yell, and I noticed that the Night Fury had been thrown into a cell right beside me. There was a small crack in the walls, and I walked up to it. Why would you do that? I asked in curiosity. He couldn't reply, and I, I, I figured that there must be a muzzle on him. So I just decided to keep quiet. I listened to him roar with outrage over and over again through the iron muzzle that had his snout shaft shut. I was sad for him. Muzzles were never put on us that had been here for so long. I had been in the cage for about two years now, only let out to fight. It was not the best life. I hope this wasn't what they did to the Night Fury because, well, they'd lose a lot of humans that way. Then again, what I had saw, I doubt they'd lose any. I wondered what that kid was going to do about the loss of his friend, I guess. I decided to ask another question, even if the dragon couldn't answer me. Why did you help that human? I was almost about to kill him. He didn't answer me, and I wondered. Maybe, maybe I should too. Maybe we could end the wars. Maybe, maybe we could save other dragons.